All right, so checking this out with uh, trying to do some stuff with my phone. See how this works out. Ah, so anyhow, so got some exciting news, and I want to welcome everybody to What Not Fishing. Today we are enjoying a Kansas City. Star Parella Authentic. I can't pronounce it. So work with me here. Anyhow, so. What we're going to be doing today is we are going to be showing off a new item for the boat. Very excited about this. Let me grab the items real quick and bring them over here to my table. I actually got stuff set up on my DJ table, so give me a moment here. Sorry about that. Trying to get stuff brought over here. I got my I got my controller on the table right now because usually I just take a uh, board and pull over the hole that my controller sits in, but Got the controller set up right now because I'm going to be doing a uh, um, video with the controller and um, or with the DJ equipment on my other channel for my business and everything. So, uh, so what do we got though? I'm also doing some doing a little bit of uh, construction in the garage too. So we got a little bit of a bigger mess because trying to get things fixed up in here a little bit. So. But let's get on to the main topic for today's video, which I'm very, very excited about this. So last year we were running the Hummingbird Helix 5 with down imaging and GPS. Obviously, I can't plug this in to show you guys anything because all the wiring's on the boat, which is outside. Um, so, can't really do any kind of show and tell on this. However, this year, still gonna be running the Helix 5 with the down imaging and the GPS. On the deck, on the council. Oh yeah, we have. Ugh, let me take this protective cover off of here. We have the Hummingbird Helix Eight with Mega Down Imaging GPS Chirp. Uh, this is the fourth generation, and it's got a fingerprint on this. Couple fingerprints on the screen. I am just beyond excited to have this new fish finder to run on the boat. Um, this one will actually be set up on the council this year and the Helix 5 will be going up on the deck and I'll be running that off the transducer on the, um, on the trolling motor. Now I can't really plug this in right now because I don't have um power to give it however um once the boat is at, once the boat is actually ready to go out on the water because i'm going to be doing some maintenance to the boat some cleaning to the boat and everything before i take it out on the water um then i will actually be doing a video after i test out this uh fish finder and um you know check everything out on it see how everything works then I will be using or then I will be doing a video um, discussing the helix 8 now this part right here is already mounted which we have the bracket for the fish finder already on here and I got a ram mount so the way this is gonna work is let me see give me a second here is this will be mounted on the boat and then I'll be able to turn this 
whatever way I want it to turn, which is really awesome. So it'll give, so I will be able to have the best view of the fish finder. And it'll be at a good height too. And the ram mounts are very sturdy and I recommend these. these this is high quality. And we also have the new transducer that will be mounted onto the boat. Um, this is the one for the Helix 8. Um, this has the, uh, gives you the mega down imaging, um, your sonar, your uh, 2D, your chirp, all that good stuff. Let me move that out of the way. <coughs> so... I'm going to be very excited to use this new fish finder. And I do have several tournaments coming up this year. Um, also, let me see if I can locate. Because I've actually lost it. All right, well, I don't know what happened to the one um, that's still in the package, but I do have a new tie-down for the boat to dock it. Um, it's got an elastic band in it, so it'll stretch out, stretch, uh, stretches out to four foot. I got two of these. This one I opened just so I could check it out. Um, Really excited to use this this year. Um, the ropes I had last year, they got kind of, well, the ropes aren't any good anymore. So, time for them to get replaced. And I wanted to go with something a little bit simpler. This has little bumpers on it right here to uh, protect the side of the boat. Built-in loops. Um... I read the reviews on this. It's got extremely high reviews, so it's made by do -do, Airhead. So I'm gonna be pretty excited to use these. I got two of them, like I said. One of them's already in, still in the package. I don't know where I placed it because, like I said, I'm doing construction in the garage. Now, the other item I got, which I'll just set that out of the way. Ugh. Let me uncover the other item real quick. So my other item is, um, you know, I can't even remember what the actual technical name is, stern pad. I thought it was transom pad. It's actually a stern pad. I got the large one. So this right here will actually mount onto the back of the onto the back of the transom or the outside of the transom. It's got some 3M VHB double-sided tape on it. This tape is guaranteed to hold up um, to hold on to the, to the back of the boat up to 60 mi 65 miles per hour, which I usually don't take my boat over 50. I have, but I usually don't because, well, where my waypoints are at, just no point in going that quick because the waypoints aren't really that far apart. So, the way this will work, let me grab the transducer again. This will mount on the back of the boat. Transducer will mount on this. The nice thing with this, you do not have to drill holes. So, pretty excited about that. I'm actually going to be hopefully hopefully getting this put on the boat this weekend, but I'm not 100% sure on that one just yet. Um And then we also got the cable connector that goes on the back of the fish finder, um which I can't show you how this works right now because I have to take these screws out and I'm not going to do that. But basically, 
You feed your cables through this little hole right here. You match them up with one of the cuts out, cutouts right here. And then you'll just take this. And it's got two little clips on it. You just clip it on. Keeps your cables connected. Very nice. Like that quite a bit. Um so that's about what I that's about what we got to share for um new material with whatnot fishing um as far as new equipment. Um I'm gonna be pretty excited to use to use this new fish finder. Like I've always said, you know, Hummingbird is one of my favorites. I've used uh Lorantz. Um I've used some of the other cheap fish finders that you get from like Walmart or whatever. Don't like them. Hummingbird. I have had fantastic luck with them. Um, they're very accurate. They're easy to use. They're very user friendly in my opinion. So it is a company that I do highly recommend going to if you're looking to find or if you're looking to get a good fish finder. So but anyhow, um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut the video out here. Um, didn't really have much to share. Um, so stick around. We'll be, I'll be doing uh, another video here hopefully in a week or two. That is dependent upon weather right now with doing some cleanup on the boat. So pretty excited about that so anyhow if you will please hit that subscribe button down below hit that little bell icon so you get notification every time I upload a new video on here and please like this video you liking this video helps with the algorithm so more people are able to see these videos and this channel is because of you the subscribers you guys are what keep this channel going so once again, hit that subscribe button. Anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this here, and we will catch you on the flip side. Have a good one, everybody.